How's it going, everyone? It's Liam Carsten here with another episode of Charmed. It's episode number five of season four, which has been pretty, pretty neat so far, as we delved into a freaky Friday situation last episode. Um, yeah, I mean, with the first three episodes, I feel like they were really, really, really high tier. And um, whereas I felt like the last episode may not have been memorable or whatnot as the first three episodes of this season, it was still a very, very enjoyable situation <clears throat> with the whole Zen, Man uh, Zen Master situation. Uh, and like I said, with the whole Freaky Friday switcheroo between Paige and Phoebe, especially with um, Paige wanting uh, to uh, emulate a bit of um, Phoebe and... Uh, uh, yeah, she kind of got that bit of experience. So, yeah. Um, but it was just really, really uh, fun stuff. So, with that said, it's time to get into episode 5 of season 4 for Charmed. Let's go. Whip out our table. I did. And who are you? Phoebe, this is Treat Taylor. He's the new manager at P3. I I'm sorry, the new what? what? I just hired him. On a trial basis. On a trial? No, wait, wait, wait. It's a trial basis and he feels like, okay, it, it, I, I can do whatever the hell I want now. Get a part-time entry-level job that pays you about 200 grand a year. That would really make a difference. Otherwise, I'd rather you be free for our other work. About that other work. But it's not fair. You shouldn't carry oh, the financial. Page now is getting a word, a word in. worry about the source of all evil. Speaking of evil, besides... Kind of Let Paige speak. Been bad news. Finn is totally bad news. There's no coinky dink about it. Whoa. Okay. Shocking. Customer complaints than than you could possibly <laughs> ever imagine. Just just hit the I brakes there. I noted that you require a flexible work schedule. I'll put in the hours, I promise. It's just sometimes I... Sometimes my sister's... Yeah. Would you care to elaborate? No, not really. How, how does it even sound? No, it's not what you're thinking. Is it like white light... Hey! Oh! Yeah. Wow. <gasps> Parallels, right, to when Phoebe discovered? <laughs> and Phoebe and they've dismissed it. So you want me to talk to them? I hate to put you in the mail. It's part of my job. Uh, I'll just... It, it's... Talk to I don't know. It hits the heart when she's like, Thank can you. you please talk to them, to Leo? Damn it! Oh. Now would not be a good time. No! I'm only... Change around, whatever you want me no, to do. No, it's just... It's just another change. So, uh... Do what oh, you want. Oh, she's being you pressured. You cool? Yeah. You cool. She's being uh -huh. pressured. Because, you know, he's the best at what he does, etc. No. Leave leave the name alone. Shit. No. Wait a second! Oh, oh my god, wait. Wait a second, that's Robert Englund! Oh no! Uh-oh. Honey, I shrunk the charmed ones! Lighter too. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, it's a smart thing to do as a witch, but an annoying thing to do as a sister. So oh, what happened oh, to Phoebe? Oh, I don't know. You're not giving us a benefit. Radar, but she dropped to the tiniest blip. And what would account for that? <laughs> oh. You alright? Yeah, <sighs> doesn't matter. P3 doesn't exist anymore. It does. The this is ridiculous. Oh no. Oh no, this oh no. Oh no. You know what? I've just watched House of Wax the other day as well. Snoop around. No. We can't let you go off with a potential demon. It's too dangerous, right, Leo? But you're not gonna Actually, give her it this. Sounds like her best bet. Yeah. Are you siding with Paige now? Hey. There's Is no there any? Th any yeah. Huh. <laughs> We're not going to give her this magic. chance. The only way to change that is to allow me to get some experience. I am due to run now. Can you do that? Yeah. We got to go before Captain sees us. Oh, creepy! I knew a witch 
fish could ever resist saving an innocent. Now Just I'm too afraid. perfect. What are you afraid of? Don't do it. Don't do it. Do it. Nah. Right. Oh, Looks conscious like spiking. Oh. <laughs> Oh my sheesh! Uh oh. Uh oh. Piper, move away. Piper, move away. Then to collect you all. Gotta catch them all. <laughs> Oh my god. There's no laughing matter about how creepy this is. I'll fire up the kill. And once you're in the kill. I'm collecting one of a kind figurines. Wonder what he gets out of that. Well, speaking for my great aunt Sylvia, who collects Hummels, when they have a hard time dealing with real people, figurines can be their best friends. Yeah, but being socially awkward doesn't land you in the book of shadows. So what does? Oh God! <laughs> What's his deal? I'm not sure. Well, how do you know him? He made me. Yeah. Made you what? Is that? It's Pino thing? It's a twisted no. Pinocchio uh, aura. Look and look, hand. he's a real boy. Now I'm glad to change the name. Oh, look at the waitresses. Oh, no, no, look. They're practically removing their spots. <laughs> Can you do that in public? Uh, oh my god. Pipe! Okay. Sort them out! Uh, Paige took Finn to her Will they ask questions if he just orbs out? This this club has gone down the champ. There we go. <laughs> nice. What are you doing here? Oh my god! No! <laughs> I mean, I know it's not what it is, but... Paired might be our best shot right now. Leo, what do you think? I think you need to stop turning to me. Start trying to figure out a way to listen to each other. Exactly, Piper, you Leo. Paige's ideas. And Paige, you don't listen to Piper's advice. I think you guys need to need figure a middle out a ground. way. The best way that I can help you is by this. <laughs> Can I get a glass of water? My skin feels a little dry. Oh, shit. Oh, sh oh, shit. Oh! Oh! Bastard! Oh! Come on, Paige. Come on, Paige. Yeah! Nice! Took that advice. Right, let's get him out of here. We need a spark. Got it. Okay, yeah! Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo! It's a small world after all. <laughs> Point three. <laughs> She's like, okay, okay, I'll pretend to know what that is. Change the name. With a little sadness. It's, it's just, yeah, there is a lot of good. And my skin looks fabulous. We have to take the good with and the bad. Now that I've been five inches tall, I will never complain about my height again. <laughs> and nor will I doubt your good. I love that. I, I I do love that. There's there's that yeah. I mean surely it needs electricity, but I get 
But I guess white light and magic is sufficient. Yes. I love all of these subtle things in regards to the whole P3 situation. Uh, with, obviously, we began the season with P3 in a, a bit of a fractured state. With, obviously, Prue's death. And we've been introduced with Paige and... Um, Obviously, it's not going to carry the same vibe, um, which I guess is kind of symbolic with, uh, obviously, um, the sp although it, it could never, it, it, like, we, we, we relish over P3 over the spot, so, um, I mean, the spot's a Spider-Man villain, for crying out loud, there's no villain called P3, so, <laughs> no, <laughs> I, 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 I mean, we still got our P3 at the end of the day. Um, we still got our charmed ones at the end of the day. Yeah, Prue is gone. But we embrace Paige into our lives. And that's the most important factor. And uh, like I said, I mean, it it's not even just this episode. But it's like everything we've faced so far in season four. Like even with the last episode in mind. Uh, this gradual journey in terms of embracing Paige into the lives of the Charmed Ones um, has been really, really solid. Um, like, I don't feel like it's forced or anything like that or that they are trying too hard. Um, but they're not, you know, just jumping straight to, okay, uh, Paige is here now. We all accept her, right? It, they're all, uh, we're, we're taking our time in terms of building her into uh, the lives of the Charmed Ones. Um, and I think it's pretty significant in regards to, you know, the whole sign up with the spot versus P3. Uh, P3, uh, P3. Uh, like, obviously, it's standard for Prue Piper and Phoebe, but um, um, with Paige being introduced and with her being part of the Charmed Ones, that doesn't mean that... Um, P3 uh, is retired. It's just, you know, kind of like what they were trying to do with the club. Rejuvenated. Revamped, uh, in a sense. I enjoyed this episode, though. Um, it was really, really strong. Uh, really uh, enjoyable. Creepy, don't get me wrong. Um, but it was just really great stuff. Whether it was the focus on Gamble or uh, whether it was the page um piper situation where they were of course uh you know clashing heads uh not just that though but also whether it was uh just gradually more so incorporating page into the lives of the charmed ones it was just really enjoyable stuff all throughout and what i also really really loved about this episode was i mean you had something really gimmicky i would say um in terms of um honey i shrunk the charmed ones um see i I think they would do away with that title because you'd think on on you know on paper it sounds like a gimmicky fun kind of episode when this episode was far from it. If anything, it was very very sinister, very chilling. Um, and I don't know if it's just the recency of it because the other day I watched House of Wax and that was one of the most fucked up movies I've seen. Um, just based on on you know what happened in that movie, but. I was getting that kind of vibes with Gamel and how, of course, he dealt with his victims, especially when um, he would turn them into figurines. I mean, we saw all of his finished um, works and yeah, I was I See, this this for me was Pinocchio meets House of Wax. Um, it's a weird combination, but given Finn and his... Um, um, like his appearance in this episode and how he was created. Uh, you had Gemmel, uh, aka Geppetto, I guess. Um, and um, yeah, obviously he was the um, he was the main concerning factor. Which with Robert Englund, of course, um, that I I I feel like that is pretty pretty um obvious. Like he's the more concerning factor over Finn, um, especially with his um. With, with how synonymous he is on works like Nightmare on Elm Street and heck, even Stranger Things. Yeah, he wasn't even the 
um, villain there, but obviously there was that kind of sinister, there was that very eerie, creepy vibe that he offered. Um, so, yeah, but um, it was just really, really great. Um, I feel like with with Robert, you can't waste an opportunity um, like that. And this is what I'm saying. Like, they could have had this be a gimmicky episode with, um, the ch like, Hoodie, I shrunk the charmed ones, basically. Um, but it was it was far from it was it was it was far from um you know gimmicky or or silly or whatever it was actually really really creepy um because there was that real possibility that uh, i mean <clears throat> i thought that um person that phoebe was um with i for a hot second thought she was going to it was going to be too late and she was going to go into the kiln so yeah um just just to further uh, i mean it was already very very sinister seeing all of the um victims that he had already completed but you could i i don't know if that would have been a bit too dark uh, to be fair so yeah but um you know like i said with watching house of wax and everything i feel like um it 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 yeah, you you could just imagine, and it's just yeah, it just gives you the chills. So it, it um so Paige, Paige had a right to to have those um, kind of uh, worries and whatnot. But I did like the um whole situation with Finn and how um um like I I did like how he wasn't really the uh, like he was more so manipulated um by I guess his father, his creator. Um, and, you know, it, it, the way he just died was, was really, really shocking, of course. So, yeah. Um, but, and it was really, really abrupt as well, because I thought, okay, if anything, he might, fall, like, especially when he talked about his skin was, um, obviously drying up and all of that. I thought he was going to fall apart in some capacity or he was going to choose to not pursue this life because of the fact that, He's not a real boy, I guess. So, yeah, but... Yeah, the way that Gamal um, just really uh, had enough of his shit because he was already showing signs of conflict. Yeah, so... Um, <clears throat> yeah, it was it was just really, really um, great stuff um, seeing how um, things came about, really, um, with the whole Gamal situation. So, yeah, and uh, also really does... Um, it does really provide some confidence for for Paige because um, obviously Piper and um, Paige they were button heads and um, <clears throat> yeah it was it was really really great stuff in regards to obviously um, with Paige she is still the baby of the group and um, with with Piper she's there's a lot on her plate especially with P three and um, yeah. He fr like it was <clears throat> it was just really really um it was just really really sad that uh, p3 was going through quite uh the changes to the point where treat decided you know what p3 will do away with that name he was like i had a feeling it was going to get to a point where he was going to take liberty like it was going to be a complete overhaul the name the theme the the everything and I mean, I feel like that is also down to um, a financial level of things in regards to, um, you know, the whole changes, as well as the fact that you're, um, uh, like, there, there is this absence. It was Prue, Piper, and Phoebe, and now Prue's no longer here. So, um, obviously, uh, there was that warning about uh, don't do anything rash, um like get married or make big changes and then there is that so um yeah um with with piper it's still um it's still really really hard on her with the fact that she's making these big changes when she's been advised not to and um i feel like like i said there's uh, also a financial situation involved in regards to rejuvenating p3 because um now she's the old sister she's the one that um um uh, i guess is more so um a provider with phoebe it's she's trying she's trying to get a job 
it's falling apart with um i mean Paige isn't even living in the house yet and um it's going to come to a point where that's going to be an inevitability and that might help out um the gals um um altogether but with uh, at this moment piper is the is the one that is um not just the lead sister but is the one uh, of dependency financially and if p3 isn't doing good enough there is um like there is that reluctant nature that okay maybe it has to change maybe i should listen to like treats says he knows what he's doing and all of that but he might be taking things a bit too out of hand so yeah especially like you can't get rid of p3 you can't get rid of it and uh i really love that symbolic nature in regards to fixing the sign um because um yeah with prue she's no longer here but Paige, um um Whereas she's not going to be Prue's replacement or like, because no one could ever replace Prue. Um, yeah. Whereas she, uh, like, whereas she's not a replacement, she um, can still keep the charmed ones alive. She, um, she is still good enough to be a part of P3. Um, yeah. She, she completes that trio, doesn't she? So um, yeah. And, um it, it it really does resonate well with how piper was um more so encouraged to listen to 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 page because there were a couple of instances where page was just shut out completely and you know it was really really sad i mean yeah she is um of course um the uh, she she is always um for this trio going to be the baby of the group and it's still early days and all of that and um she brings up something that might seem benign uh for piper and phoebe um and yeah it was it was just um you know it, it was just really really sad but it's also great that um we are given this opportunity to 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 showcase page uh, being able to to handle things and all of that so um yeah um and she gets that op she gets that opportunity to really showcase herself really so um i just really really uh yeah it does suck that uh at first we had Paige just get shunned but it is great that we're seeing this opportunity for Paige to to take a shine and and to to um, provide benefits to to Prue and uh, to to Piper and Phoebe. It still hurts. Um. So yeah. Um. And it's still, but uh, it's still um early days, really, in terms of embracing um Paige into um their lives and all that. Um. So. Yeah, I mean, it it it's like we're still gradually getting there in terms of accepting Paige as a sister so yeah but um we are we are making some progressive steps that's the most important things we want to go we want to go up and not down and um yeah and leo did a really really good job in regards to uh trying to um uh i mean he he want he, and it and i could understand in regards to him noping out this situation um, because they've got to settle things um, naturally. He can't, He, I mean, he, he guides them, but they need to, uh, he can't always look, uh, he can't always be looked towards in regards to this whole kind of split with, that we have with Paige and Piper. Um, but he can give them a bit of a wake-up call that, you know, Piper, you need to uh, embrace Paige a bit more and treat her like an equal, but also you need to listen to some advice because, um, I mean, she's been at this the longest and all of that. So yeah. And, um, yeah. So it was just really, really, um, it was just really, really great stuff. So yeah, I really, really, um, I really, really enjoyed this episode. It was, like I said, really, really chilling. And it was just really great to have Robert Englund, uh, be a part of this. Um, because uh, that was a that was a real real neat surprise. Uh, obviously, someone uh, like hype, like who has a very very high pro um prolific yeah uh, nature when it comes to, I guess anything horror esque um yeah, 
and they um they incorporated him in an episode that really gave you a very um, chilling atmosphere because um because of the fact that um you know those little figurines just yeah you just like i said you just imagine with what was uh, with what's been done because um i mean you saw with well all of the charmed ones in that uh, person that they were being prepped and then of course that person was going to go into the kiln thankfully Paige managed to not just save an innocent but also save everyone as well so she gave that so she really really shone in this episode um but it but it's still like with everyone who has sadly become a victim it it, it just really does give you that very very um spine chilling atmosphere and uh, i feel like that's what you 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 really want to do when you incorporate someone like well, um, I, I guess they obviously wrote the episode and then uh, decided, oh, you know what? Robert would be great for this. Um, but compare that to something you could have had, like a silly kind of episode where, because uh, considering the fact that all of the Charmed Ones were small, like usually you can um, deviate to a very, very low-key, fun, silly episode. And it was far from that. I mean, yeah, it had its moments and all of that. but that didn't overshadow the whole sinister nature of things. Uh, so yeah, but um, I really thought that it was great stuff in regards to um, not just um, creating that very chilling atmosphere, but also in regards to uh, Piper having to have these big responsibilities, of course, um, with treat just regenerating the, the club completely. And I did really love that point and, um, ending um with uh p3 like with with the sign being smashed um and all of that and uh obviously with uh at that point piper just felt in her heart that p3 wasn't there because obviously previously stood for prue there's still that um like i said gradual path to accepting um page totally um, and I hope they don't stretch it out for too long. I don't think they will, because we're, we're on an... I, I feel like we're on a neat path. But, um, like I said, it, it's a gradual journey. And uh, that ending um, where, obviously, Leo fixed the sign uh, is very, very poignant. Because it's just another progressive step, really. So, yeah, but... Yeah, pretty, pretty great stuff. I really enjoyed this episode. Um, and... Um, yeah, it was just really, um, really fun. It was very sinister. And, uh, yeah, really, really great. Uh, just, just really, really solid, uh, stuff all throughout. So, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content. You can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care. And I will see you guys next time. Toodles!